is a rising star from New Jersey whose first YouTube video drew half a million views on YouTube and show image is now featured on T-shirts selling at a solid clip. He's also a turtle. That's what I said. News 12's Brian Donahue meets up with a reptile who doesn't act much like one. He's, uh, he's definitely special. Meet New Jersey's newest budding internet celebrity, Otis, an eastern box turtle who acts more like a friendly dog than a species known for boxing itself up in its shell. He's just got a, a level of charisma, intelligence, and just something else going on up there. Otis's owner, Chris Leone, knows a reptile with a unique personality when he sees it. He and his wife, Casey, run Garden State Tortoise, a 10-year-old turtle rescue and breeding facility in Atlantic County. They handle the bulk of all reptile rescues for the state. In over 30 years of, of doing this professionally, I have never met another reptile, okay? And even the other ones that are shared on YouTube and stuff, you know, the you have personable animals, he's in different level. A turtle who eagerly follows people around and seems to want to climb into your arms or maybe take a bite of your nose. Clips like this one have sent Garden State Tortoise's video views on Instagram and YouTube soaring. He's fixated on something. It has something to do with the eyes, I believe. Otis's affinity for humans does not extend to his fellow turtles, however. His aggression towards them means he gets his own solo suite here at Garden State Tortoise, although there are plans to hopefully find him a mate. He's got box turtle needs, you know what I mean? He appears to have been well cared for by his prior owners, but little else is known that might lend clues as to how he got so frisky or why he was abandoned. I have to say it was strange and oddly profound to have a turtle stare into your eyes like a fellow mammal might. Wow. Leon thinks Otis's personality will make him a great spokes turtle for his species. See, eastern box turtles are declining in New Jersey, and the state DEP has listed them as a species of concern, mostly due to habitat loss. Garden State Tortoise does educational programs in schools and zoos to teach the public about reptiles and the need for their care and habitat protection. A turtle that does not need to be coaxed out of its shell in front of people makes that job much easier. He's so captivating that we can really teach, especially kids, the importance of you know, New, New Jersey native wildlife. And it makes me wonder if maybe the fact that we need to do a better job of protecting turtles' homes is what Otis is somehow trying to tell us. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. Otis, you are just adorable. Who holds that stare longer, you or the human? While keeping turtles as pets is legal here in New Jersey, if you have a state permit, collecting them from the wild is not. Unfortunately, Otis can't be returned to the wild because he's lived in ca captivity way too long. You can see that. He's become a human people, hasn't he?